Jehovah Sikeno, Adonai, El Leon, Elohim, El Shaddai. You are the Lord our shield, our buckler, our strength, our power, our high tower, the lifter up of our heads, the horn of our salvation, our deliverer, our redeemer, our deliverer. A restorer, a healer, a comforter, a teacher, a counselor, a all in all. Unto you will return on praises. You are greater than the greatest. Father, you are better than the best. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are powerful than the most powerful. You are wider than the wildest. You are the beginning and the ending. Afar and Omega, ancient of days. You are the one that sits in heaven that make the heart your full stone. You are clothed with honor and majesty. Oh, many present God will worship you. Oh, many present God will magnify you. You're unchanging changer. Lord will bless you. We return all praises unto you. If we have a thousand tongues, they are not enough to praise your holy name. We thank you. We thank you a trillion times. We declare our love for you. We say we love you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. First Chronicles 16:27. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Let's begin to pray that the glory of God will descend upon us. Even as we are in his presence this morning. Almighty God will receive your glory upon everyone in this place today. Upon our lives. Let your glory descend. Let your presence be evident. Even in this gathering today. Oh Lord have your way in our midst today. Let your power be available to deliver, to set free, to heal, to save, to restore. Even in our midst today. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, do what only you can do. Lead the sick among us. Deliver the oppressed. Set the captive free. Unto you we are gathered. Father, manifest your presence. Manifest your glory. Manifest your honor. Manifest your strength. Even in our midst today, the Bible says, and the heart help the woman. Even as we are gathered in your presence today, let the heart open up and swallow whatever is not of God in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions even as we have come into your presence today, oh God, even as we have come to Mount Zion, let there be deliverance for her. Oh Lord, let every one of us possess our possession. Let none of us come in vain. In the name of Jesus, have your way, oh God, in our midst. In this gathering today, let divinity visit humanity. Let the heavens visit the heart. Let the heavens over to this garden be open. Heavens of power, heavens of restoration, of fruitfulness, of prosperity, of salvation be open over to this garden in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Second Chronicles 2020. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe in prophets, so shall ye prosper. Lord, as your servant minister to me today, oh Lord, let me prosper in every areas of my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, by the ministration of your servant, we receive prosperity in every areas of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are what says I wash over my word to perform it. Every word of prayer, every word of, pros of, of, of prosperity that will be coming out of your servant to the the mouth of your servant. Lord, let none of his fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, by his word today we are liberated. By his word today we are, we are set free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Act 1920. So mightily grew the word of God and it prevail. Father, let your word in the mouth of your servant prevail over every situation. Prevail over every circumstances in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. By the word of your servant. For servant. Father, take us out of every Eden place. Oh, to our Rehoboth. In the name of Jesus, take us out of barrenness to fruitfulness. Take us out of lacks and poverty to prosperity. By the word of your servant today, oh God, liberate every life. Let every destiny be set free. Set us free. Maritally, financially, at twice, in every areas of our lives. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. 
Isaiah 10, 10, 27. It shall come to pass on that day that his burden shall be taken over his shoulders and his yoke over her neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Father, as the anointing oil comes upon my head today, let every yoke in my life be broken. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we anoint ourselves, oh God, in this session, Father, let every yoke be broken. Let every yoke of delay be broken. Let every yoke of barrenness be broken. Let every yoke of lax and poverty be broken. Every yoke of sickness is be broken. Whatever represents yokes in our lives, but will not survive the anointing of today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing of today will be an oily oil of God, of salvation, of fruitfulness, of touch not upon us in the name of Jesus. Even as we turn our key today, by the impartation of the key, our doors shall be open. Great doors shall be open unto us. Doors of fruitfulness, doors of prosperity, doors of lifting shall be open unto us. Global doors shall be open even by the impartation of the uh, of the key today in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we are prayed as we have decreed this morning so shall it be in the name of jesus we will not have less than what we have said we declare this service open in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit please let's join her heart together and welcome the ministry of the living voices Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we just lift up our hands and jam our hands together for the Lord? It is only by His grace. Hallelujah. There are some that were slept together yesterday. They are no more this morning. Hallelujah. For you being alive today is not by your power. It's not by your might. It's just by the grace of the Almighty that kept you alive. Can you just put your hands together? Jam your hands together for the King of Kings. The one who has kept you. The one who has sustained you. The one who has delivered you. Sing a new song unto him. Hallelujah. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so. I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. Hey! All my life you have been so, so. Of the goodness of God and all my love, you say, All my life, you have been faithful. You have been so, so good. All my life, you have been so, so good. I love you, love, for your mercy never fails me. All my days, all my days, I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will see. All the goodness of God I know Hey! 
is not allowed. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yes! Come on now! Let's go! Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Listen! I never knew you the way I never made this way. I never knew you were on a business way. I never knew you were on a business way. You are born on this way. I said thank you, Jesus. I never knew. I never knew you were on a business way. I never knew. Oh, Lord. I am a father. 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 I am
Father, he will never ever fail me. Jesus is my Father, he has never ever failed me. Rock of ages, never ever fail. Oh Lord, are you sure?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time for freedom and liberty in praise and worship. You are free. You are at liberty to pace up and down, to sit down, to kneel down, to stand up, to prostrate before him, whichever one you find comfortable and convenient to worship God. Let's give him our worship. Let's give him our worship. Time for individual worship. Pour out your heart to him in praise and adoration. Be free. Express your gratitude to God. Express your gratitude to God. All in our viewing centers. All in Dominion City, Ibadan. Kolobo Abel Kuta. All of you at Oshogbo Center. Akura Center. Every one of you in your offices. In your houses. In your car. Airport. Train station. Wherever you are. Give him praise. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Unto you be all the praise, all the glory. All the praise, all the glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor, Lord. We give you all the adoration. Blessed be your name forever. You are worthy. You are lofty. Power and communion on God. Call him his covenant names. Eulogize God. Worship him. Thank you. Lord, we praise you. We magnify you. We adore you. In Jesus' most glorious name, we have worship. For praising God, he will raise you. For coming to adore him, he will lift you higher. The sick under this anointing will be totally healed. The healed will remain healthy. Amen. Over the poor, poverty yoke will be broken. Amen. The prospered will further prosper. Amen. Nobody will be left out today. Amen. All the desires you have brought before God from all over the world, those desires shall be converted to testimonies. Amen. Everyone will go home with a new testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name. It is time for our faith confession. Faith is a confession. He said, because we believe, so we speak. He said, that we shall hear you say, that we now do. If you will see unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and you will not doubt, but believe that you have what you say. He said, you shall have what you say. God is waiting for the next thing you will say. Confession will bring your possession today. Amen. Open your hands before him. Those of us in all viewing centers, close your eyes to avoid all the distractions of those that are streaming in and streaming out. Everywhere you are, take this confession with me. Say, my father and my God. I'm before you again today. Bless me today. Heal me today. Deliver me, Deliver me today. Let me be favored. Me favored. I, will I will receive divine visitation. Visitation that will remove frustration. Yes, today is my elevation day. day. By, your power, By your power. Take me to my new level. Me my new level. I, reject I reject all forms of oppression. 
all forms of depression, all forms of opposition, convert my opposition for a new position for me. Your word says, after I have waited for a while, after I have suffered for a while, you say you will establish me. You say you will strengthen me. You say you will say to me. So I confess. Today is my settlement day. Every area of my life, of my children's life, of my family life, of my business life, of my career life, of my ministerial life, calling for settlement. Today is my settlement day. Today is my favor day. Today is my establishment day. I shall be duly settled. This is my year. I will not fail. I will go out and find favor. I will come in and find rest. I decree and declare. My head is lifted. I am connected to the most high God. I cannot be most low. My God is the most high. I cannot be at the bottom. He created me to be the head. I will operate as head. In this country. In my neighborhood. In my community. In my industry. I am going to the top. The top is my place. All contentions. Anywhere you are. By fire, you are cleared out. I present my family. I present my children. Anything connected to me, come under divine anointing. I am blessed of the Lord. I am not cursed. I am a champion. I am not a failure. Throughout my life, I will operate with God's power behind me. With God's glory upon my life, I will return to give testimony. Thank you for hearing me. I'm already blessed. In Jesus name. Say amen. amen. It shall be as you have said it. Amen. You will not have less than you have confessed. In fact God will surprise you. He will give you more. He will raise you high. You will always come with testimony. The Lord bless you. In Jesus name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Help me welcome your neighbor as far as your hand can reach. As many of them as your hand can stretch to. God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Welcome from all the places you have come from. Many of you Many of you came from far places. That is why God will take you far in life. Amen. God will take your children far in life. Amen. God will take your business and career out far in life. Amen. You have come from a very far place. Many of you woke up so early today. Even the thought of prayer mountain did not allow you to sleep well. <laughs> you are waking up at what's the time now? Okay. I can see still a little. At what's the time now? I can see still a little. The thought of prayer Monday did not allow you to sleep well. Because you are full of the thought of God, you will also remain in the mind of God. You won't serve him in vain. Today we deliver specially in Jesus' name. Please like our Facebook page at the Real Femme Emmanuel. Follow us on Instagram. Also at the Real Femme Emmanuel. Subscribe to our YouTube. Also at the Real Femme Emmanuel. We have made all to be Real Femme Emmanuel now. So that will be easy. Tell all your contacts. Your sons and your daughters. Your friends and your neighbors and your colleagues from far and near. Give them the link. Of particular interest to me is that you should subscribe to our YouTube. So bring out your cell phone. Open it, switch it on, and put it in a silence mode. Go to your YouTube. Type 
the real Femi Emmanuel and subscribed. The real R E A L. The real Femi Emmanuel. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notification. So every time we send a post, and we send posts every day, something will bless you there every day. And every time we are on, you will also know. I want everybody to do that. All those of you hearing me across the world. Subscribe to our new YouTube at the Real Femi Emmanuel and turn on notification. Like our Facebook, also at the Real Femi Emmanuel. Thumb up for us so that many people can get to know and be blessed. Another thing we do on this mountain is that we celebrate testimony. Testimony are testimonials. That the God of yesterday is the God of now. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forevermore. The testimonies coming from God's people is an attestation that what he did in the old is still doing now. Testimony begets testimony. The meaning of that is that testimony gives birth to testimony. If you are a happy testifier, God will always make sure that you have something to testify about. God will always give you new, new miracles, new, new breakthroughs, because he loves people to testify. The more you testify to people, to God's people, of what God is doing in your life, around you, the more he will give you testimonies to share. So, if you want God to keep performing miracles in your life, keep giving testimonies. And don't be shy. Say it with all joy. Because your testimony is a blessing to somebody. It's a ministration to somebody. And I have said to us again and again, God's miracle that we cover up, God's miracle that we refuse to testify about, the devil can still steal the miracle. The devil will not steal your miracle. So those that are giving testimonies, you'll be receiving regular visitation from God. At the appropriate time, we will recognize testifiers online. All our online members and viewers from all over the world, send in your own testimonies. Media will put testimony line on the screen. Plus 234-809-789-4000. Media, let that be on the screen. Everybody save it up. That is the testimony line. You have a testimony? Send it in form of a WhatsApp message to that line. We'll be able to share it for others to be blessed. Please do that joyfully. And all of you in Dominion City, if you have testimony, we will take it. We will also take testimony here. We will invite you at the appropriate time, give you the microphone to tell the world what God has done for you so that he will do more. Now, it is time for me to speak to the things you have brought. My tongue is initiated. My head is anointed. He has raised me for this job. And whatever I say, he backs it up. He said, I will not allow the word of my messenger to fall to the ground. I will uphold the word of my messenger. So I want to speak to everything you have brought to represent where you want the power of God to act for you. Did you remember to bring your anointed man to? Get it ready. What about the anointed currency? What of your anointing oil? What of your water bottle? Did you bring your pinch of salt? Are you here with photographs? Are you here with some documents? Are you here with a key? I ask you to bring a key. Are you here with baby things for those trusting God for babies? Are you here with wedding things for those trusting God for a beautiful marriage? Are you here with your international passport? For those of you that desire visa, this year you are going to visit many countries. Amen. Are you there with your immigration papers? All of you across the world that have issues in that area. Are you there with names of people and of places you want God to touch for you? God has never created a machine he cannot operate. God has not made a man whose heart he cannot touch. So have you brought their names? Have you brought their photographs? Have you brought issues that have to do with your business, your office, your practice, your platform, your network? 
I am just reminding you. Prayer Mountain is a prophetic service. It's not like a Sunday conventional service. We bring things to represent things for God who wants us to have things to bless us. God does not mind you owning things if those things will not own you. So always think of what you are believing God for, what you are coming for. Take your hands and make a photo shoot of your factory, of your farm, of your poultry, of your piggery, of your shop, of your warehouse. And say, God, I need your presence here. Lord, let grace says, Lord, let there be a visitation. Prayer Mountain is a prophetic service. Here we call the things that be not as if though they are. And they show up. And you never get disappointed with God. Raise those things up and let me prophesy to them. It is time for prophetic declaration. Now hold those things or you raise them up. I stand here in the name of God Almighty. I speak to every good desire you have. They shall become your testimonies. I call for the things you desire. The Bible says through faith we know that the words were framed together by the word of God. So that the things we see did not come from the things which do appear. He brought visibility from invisibility. I speak to your life. There shall be visible miracle. Amen. Visible progress. Amen. Visible promotion. Amen. Everything you were formerly denied by the prophetic impartation of today, it shall now be delivered. Amen. Whatever belongs to you in the hand of people, it will be too hard for them to handle. Amen. Whoever is sitting on where you should be sitting, doing the job you should be doing, Relating with the people you should be relating with. I prophesy they shall be unseated. Amen. God that remove Queen Vasti. So that Queen Esther can come on. I prophesy. Whoever is holding what belongs to you. They shall be unseated. Amen. God will give you your proper place. Amen. In that country. Amen. In that industry. Amen. In that environment. Amen. In that family. God will give you your proper place. Amen. The upper place is yours. Amen. You are not a below the table person. Amen. He said, neither do men light the candle and put it under the table. It must be put on the table to give light. I speak to everyone's life. You will light your environment. Amen. You will shine for the whole world to see. Amen. Nothing will cover your glory. Amen. Whatever is covering your glory. Because you are greater than this. You are richer than this. You are lifted than this. Something is covering your glory. By fire, I cause it to be dispersed. I cause it to be rolled away. Your glory will show. Your light will shine. Your money will come. Your miracle will be released. Your tears will be converted to laughter. No more crying. No more tears. I say to you, weep not. God has taken over. Over that matter in your life, God has stepped in. Over that issue on your job, God has stepped in. I serve notice to every sickness, every pain, every discomfort. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be totally healed. Be totally delivered. You shall look for them and not find them again. They shall no longer be there. The owner of the evil load has carried it away. The owner of the evil load has carried it away. You are set free. Before sun sets today, God will settle some things for you permanently. You will have good news. You will have a miracle phone call. You will be happy. It will be a lot upon a lot. It will be favor upon favor. It will be help upon help. All throughout this year, all throughout your life. In Jesus' name. Say amen at a three level. You are blessed forever. Please have your seat. All those coming for the first time, at the appropriate time, will give you your anointed mantle. For praying and doing miracle free of charge, 
You are going to hear testimonies of how people are engaging all these prophetic insights that we pull out from the Bible. And God is doing miracle in their life. We'll give you anointed currency for financial enlar en uh, enlargement. Look, I do see vision though. I see vision. And I'm seeing for every one of you now. I see a vision for you. You will be so rich. You will be so fruitful. That's the vision I saw. That's the vision I saw. Now that an uh, accident is coming, that, you know, I'm, I'm, not seen, I'm, I'm not sent to see those kind of things. I see a bigger you. A richer you. A healthier you. In the name of Jesus. All those who in evil vision, run away from them. God's mind for you is good. Amen. Is there anybody with a memo to God? God said to me, ask my children to write memo to me. Memo means prayer request. We should have prayed about, but you now write down. You write the sheet of paper, envelope it. He said, make for me an altar. Let them place their memo before me. I will answer it. Ushers, collect all those who brought memos and bring it to the altar table. And all of you watching online across the world, you can see the mail address on the screen. Memo at turningpointtoday.com Send your mail to that mailbox. The office will print it out for you envelope it for you and place it at the prayer altar for us. God said to me, let them lay it at the prayer altar and everything on this altar shall be turned into testimonies. Stretch your hand towards this prayer altar. Every one of you, wherever you are, the camera will zoom it closer to you. Stretch your hand towards this request. These are requests. Some people take their own request to shrine. The girl before the witch doctor, the priest, he gives them something, say, say whatever you want into it. <laughs> they give that to him. So, <laughs> throw the thing. So, yeah. He began to speak in a language you cannot understand, just to intimidate you. <laughs> Begin to <laughs> say incantation, inviting demons. And you'll be saying, yeah. We don't know what Baba will see you. We don't say, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. You are fighting with somebody. An average person is fighting with somebody. An average person. <laughs> but here, we bring it to the altar. And the power of God most high. We alter it in your favor. Every request here. I prophesy, be turned to testimonies. Amen. Baby request, marriage request, Amen. money request, Amen. additional capital, Amen. enlargement in your business, Amen. healing request, Amen. visa request, Amen. immigration paper request, Amen. indefinite stay, Amen. citizenship, Amen. whatever request here is turned into an answer. Amen. Takes the battle off your hands. He will fight your battle. You will come back here giving testimony. People will join you to celebrate God. Your prayers are answered. Say amen, amen, amen. amen, amen, amen. Never, never, never good to those who will be making incantation on you and putting you under despair. And every such person who had done that, God will deliver you. Amen. If there is anything from your past that is disturbing your present and is ready to compromise your future, that thing is removed from your life. Amen. Let's go to today's ministration. Every day has its own ministration. I'd like the ushers to bring out the flyers and give the flyers to people. I've asked the office to keep producing more flyers, do the same in Dominion City. Must never, never run out of flyers throughout the quarters. We are making it quarter by quarter. Throughout the quarter, always bring flyers. 
and all of you take more flyers every time. Those they have taken before. You are going to meet new people between now and next Thursday. Give it to them. Even the people you gave it to that I have not given it to them again. You are not buying it. You are to just be a mouthpiece of God to reach out to somebody. As you rebroadcast the turning points you receive on your WhatsApp, on your Telegram every day, the same thing you should take flyer and invite people to prayer mountain. I like to see Dominion City, Dominion City filled up ground floor gallery all over. I like to see Goshen Land overflow upon overflow. I like to see that in all the other places. As you bring people to Christ, the house of God, the Lord will bring good things to your life. Don't forget what I have said repeatedly. If you don't bring them to church, somebody will take them to the shrine. No human being wants to remain under pressure. No woman wants to marry and have no baby. No woman wants to grow up and have no husband. Nobody wants to come out of school and have no job. Nobody wants to have job and have no profits. Nobody likes to be sick and under oppression. Nobody wants to face challenges continuously. When people are under such issue, they look for solution. And the solution, where they go, depends on who speaks to them first. When people are under serious pressure, they will do anything. The Bible says, if you know them, and you don't want them, you don't bring them to Christ. Somebody not take them to Babalawos and Mamalawos. Where they will roast them. Where they kill them, vandalize them, exploit them. He said, I will require their blood from you. Don't let God require the blood of anybody from you. So I say to all of you listening to me here, listen to me online and offline, listen to me in Dominion City, in Kolobo, in Goshen Land, anyone that comes in contact with you, tell them about Prayer Mountain. Anyone that comes close to you, tell them, can I give you the link to be listening to Turning Point? Anyone. Because you don't want God to require anybody's blood from you. Please do so for Jesus. Leave them for God. It's God that will decide whether they will come or not. You have listened to testimony here again and again. Somebody gave a testimony last week. He said, my mom was sending it to me. I was deleting it. I don't want to listen to anything. But one day, somebody said, please listen now. Be giving them the flyers. He said, I've given them so much they don't come. Be giving them. We didn't sell it for you. Be giving them. We are not complaining that... The thing is replenishing. Keep giving to them and pray over it. Jesus Christ said, nobody can come to me except he has been given to me by my father. One day, God will touch their heart. And when they come to know prayer mountain, when they come to know Jesus, when they get blessed with any point, they will be thanking God and be thanking you. Say, thank you for sharing with me. I didn't know. Please let God use you. And when God use you, he will bless you. Now, our point of prayer today is keys to a fruitful year. I think it's on the screen. Key for a fruitful year. 2023 will be your most fruitful year ever. I ask you to bring a key. How many of you remember to bring the key? Raise the key up. Because this is the key to your next level. Key to good things you desire. Yeah. Keys that will open doors for you. Yeah. Keys that will open nations. Yeah. Keys that will open great treasury. Yeah. In Jesus name. So put it down at the appropriate time. I know many of you did not remember. Some people remember other people's problem. They don't remember their own. When they come there, you will use your hand or your finger. And next week we are still going to bring the key. I also ask you to bring new items. I ask you to bring new things. You see the new things I bought? Nobody bought me this beautiful one. I have not removed it from Lylon. This is Tia Roba. Tia. This year, God is going to give you Tia Roba miracle. Yeah. Tia Roba cars. Yeah. Tia Roba houses. Yeah. Tia Roba estates. Yeah. Tia Roba miracle. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. For your son, Tia Roba wife. A woman nobody ever touched before. That's the Tia Roba. Tia Roba husband. Not a local husband. 
Good one. God is going to give you a terrible job. Amen. New, new things will be happening for you. Amen. So that's why you have brought new things. You brought a key. I also ask you to have a cloth to wrap around yourself, to cover yourself. Because God is going to cover you with His glory. Amen. All these things are prophetic. We take prophetic action. We connect to the word of God. We do things symbolically and prophetically. And God brings it realistically. That's the power of God here. We do things that are biblical. We do them symbolically. We do them prophetically. And God brings them realistically. As you turn the prophetic key today, good doors will be opening for you. Money doors will be opening for you. Amen. Opportunity doors will be coming. Amen. For one opportunity you lost before, God will replace it with ten. Amen. For one business opportunity you lost, God will replace it with multiple. Amen. Mysterious doors shall be opening. Amen. In the name of Jesus. This is the year when your desired door shall be opening. And your rejected doors shall be closed. Amen. Isaiah 22 verse 22 is where we locate our scripture in this first service. Isaiah chapter 22 verse 22. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall shut. He shall shut and none shall open. Amen. You know the meaning of that? Today, God is giving you the power of opening and closing. Amen. Whichever door you desire to close, God said, I will close in family. Amen. So we are going to close some doors today. Doors against sicknesses. Doors against indebtedness. Amen. Doors against evil dreams. Amen. Doors against barrenness. Amen. Doors against police trouble. Amen. Police people, please forgive me. Doors against abduction. Kidnapping, arm robber, those against losses, untimely dead. We are going to close them firmly and it shall remain closed forever. And we are going to open new doors. So be thinking in your mind the new doors you want God to open, the new doors you want God to open for you and for your children and for your family and for your concern and all ministers of God. The new doors you want God to open for you in ministry. Now, two issues we are combining today. Number one, a fruitful year. A fruitful year. Keys for a fruitful year. What is a fruitful year? That is what I want to deal with in the first service. And in the second service, what is keys? So... If you are not going to be around in the second service, connect online so that you can get it in full. What is a fruitful year so that you can know how to pray? And I hope you brought your jotter and your notebook. Number one, a fruitful year is a profitable year. This year, your profitability will show. A profitable year. Profit means gains from investment. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 15. He says, meditate upon these things. Give yourself only to them. So that your profiting may appear to all. I like that. All need to see that this God is benefiting you. You know, the best, I, I, I said to you, the, I said to you not too long ago, take flyers to invite people. Not be so. I said, send turning point to people so that they will get blessed the way you are getting blessed. The best way to invite people to Christ is to let them see the goodness of God on you. Peter, James, and John at the beautiful gate, Acts chapter 3, they said to the begging man, look at us. There must be something about you people should look up to. The serenity in your family. The excellence in your children. The healthiness in your body. Expansion in your business. The peace in your marriage. The smile you wear all the time. 
the profit that is coming from your business, there must be something about you that they are envious about. It is a year of profiting. He said, godliness is profitable unto all things. Serving God is profitable. Coming every time to dance before God is profitable. Praying every day and living a holy life, clean from sin, is profitable. Salvation does not demote. It promotes. This year, your profiting will appear to all. Amen. Number two. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? A fruitful year means a rewarding year. A rewarding year. God's giving you reward. All your previous labors and efforts shall be rewarded this year. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6. He says God is a rewarder of those who diligently serve him. God is a rewarder. God is not an exploiter. He's a rewarder. God is not a taker. He's a giver. God does not leave you hot and dry. It is human being that exploits. God does not exploit you. He makes you do exploits. He's a rewarder of those who diligently serve him. I prophesy this year will be highly rewarding. For you and your family, you will have high reward in the name of Jesus. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? A fruitful year is a year of bountiful harvest. Bountiful harvest. Get ready for harvest this year. Harvest means reaping. Reaping. You have sown. Hey, all of us have been sowing. You have sown good wheat to people's life. How many of you here in humility can say to God be the glory, I have helped people before. You have helped people before in one way or the other. You have helped people before. Harvest of it will come. Amen. How many of you have been paying tithes? Even though some of you don't do it regularly. Some of you are off and on. Like my electric kettle. Oh. <laughs> but at least you are paying. How many of you give seed to God? How many of you have some battle seed before? How many of you give ten thanksgiving seed? How many of you have done something in the house of God? Now, if you do that, you have sown seed. And for every sower, there must be harvest. I prophesy. This will be your harvest year. Amen. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? An in-gathering year. A year to gather, not to scatter. A year to, of ingathering. You are bringing things in. New, new things are coming in. You are gathering dividends. You are gathering beautiful things. This is an ingathering year. This year you will gather, you will not scatter. This year you will gather, you will not scatter. In the name of Jesus. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? Is a year of full recovery. Many, many are listening to me now. They have not fully recovered from COVID onslaught. COVID shut down their businesses, reduced their customers. Some people had gone through certain misfortunes, certain disasters, certain exploitation. Some 419 people hit you, certain losses. They have not fully recovered. God said to me, Tell them. This year is the year of full recovery. Amen. I say it's the year of full recovery. Amen. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? Two more before I call for testifier. What is the meaning of a fruitful year? It is a year of compensation. Oh, God said to me, tell them I will compensate them. Amen. For all their losses, I will compensate them. Amen. For the delay, you have, some of you have suffered delay. In one area or the other. God said, not only will I remove delay, I will compensate you for the delay. In the name of Jesus. Finally, what is the meaning of a fruitful year? It's a year of overflow. This year, you will experience overflow. This year will not be the year of manage, manage, little by little. No. It's going to be a year of overflow. Overflow means excess. Overflow means more than enough. You know we serve a God of more than enough. We serve a God that brings things in excess. 
It is the excess you need to reach out to people. You know God sent you here not just for yourself. To reach out to people. To feed the hungry. To clothe the naked. To house the homeless. To start. Many of you are going to establish foundations. Giving scholarship to people. Meeting the need of the orphans. The widows. You are going to be taking care of the aged. People you don't know. You will just be helping them. How many of you have such a mindset of helping people? God will give you overflow. Yeah. All these are your portion this year. Yeah. And when we get to prayer, get ready to turn the key. Get ready to turn the key. Get ready to hold the new things you have brought. And all the other things have brought. The anointing coming you on you today is the anointing for a most fruitful year. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. When next we want to do this, I will ask you to bring fruits. But today you have brought keys, you have brought new things. And as we say it here, so will it be for you in the name of Jesus. So will it be for you in the name of Jesus. There is always one year that defines all other year. There is always one year. Genesis 26 verse 12. Isaac sowed in that land. And that same year, there's always a year. There was a year Anna went to Shiloh. And it defined all other years. I speak to everybody today. Your life will change this year. Amen. I know the year God brought my breakthrough. I know the year. You know my story? Born poor. Raised poor. When I pass out primary, from primary six, even at the secondary school, I don't know any single human being that can help me. In my family, not even the primary school teacher. We were all farmers. All of the people I met before me were farmers. Cutlasses and whole family will not be caterpillar. But I know the year when the cloud pulled back for me and I saw the sunshine of God's glory. This will be the year for somebody here. If it has happened for you before, it will happen wider. Yeah. Testimony online. Testimony on ground. We will now start turning the key. We will start, if you don't have key, you start turning your hand. Will, <laughs> you must turn something. You know, because something must shift in your favor. I said you must turn something. You know, a turn around is coming for you. Pastor P. We take testimony. Once again, can we celebrate God with a clap of him for the divine release? Yeah. Hallelujah. We have been informed during the message session about the testimony line. May I remind us, plus 234-809-789-4000. Please send your testimonies so we can celebrate God. Four powerful testimonies quickly as we go to take testimonies here live. One. Glory be to God Almighty, and thank you, Daddy Femi Emmanuel, for your impactful teaching. Last week, Thursday, we presented our fruit before God. Daddy prayed and said we will be remembered to the glory of God. Few hours later, I received a six-digit alert from the quarter that I was rejected. Glory be to God Almighty. God bless you, sir. Can we celebrate God? For divine remembrance. Good morning, Daddy and my Turning Point family. I was HIV positive, but I never gave up on myself. I return all the glory to God, who is my father, for changing my status. I went to do the test again, and the result came out negative. I give God all the glory for this miracle. Thank you so much, Daddy Femi Emmanuel. God bless you more, sir. Can we celebrate God for divine healing? Yeah. Hallelujah, oh, my turning point family. Pastor Peter, God bless you for the message and prayer mountain on Thursday of the World Lifting Conference. After you prayed for us to go, that those things that are looking impossible, we should retry again. It will work. I have been trying to carry out a transaction using my phone for the past two years. When I got home, I tried it, and once it entered, 
Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, and more anointed, sir. Can we celebrate God for divine enablement? Finally, for this session, my testimony is as follows. One, the Lord granted me and my husband visa to the UK in 2022. Secondly, the Lord granted all my children success in their exams in 2022. Thirdly, the Lord helped my husband recover his lost laptop bag with all his documents that were stolen, stolen inside a bus as he was on transit to Glasgow, UK for an interview. My thanks goes to God and my thanksgiving alert seed has been sent. If you know you are the next to recover all, please consciously give God praise. HIV positive turned to negative. God humiliated HIV. Documents stolen recovered. I don't know which one is your own. God that did theirs will do your own. Amen. All those who have testimony to give on, uh, on ground here, please come to the line. Come to testimony line. Come from the overflows. And come and line up. We have received testimony online. We want to receive testimony live here. Now, if today is your first coming, or you have not filled this little sleep this year, it is time to give it to you. All those coming for the first time this, this year. Huh, if you are coming for the first time this year, maybe you have come before. We have discarded with the data of 2022. This is the registration data for 2023. Raise up your hand. Ushers will give it to you. Raise it up in the overflows. Raise it up in Dominion City. Raise it up in Kolobo. Raise it up in all the places where people are gathered to receive prayer mountain. Please, excuse a biro and fill it. Okay, I can see overflow too. Flow are uh, filling up already. You are doing a good job by inviting people. Keep inviting them. They will keep thanking God and thanking you. I can see many more people are hearing. Many more people are coming. Now, that's how good things will be coming for you. If you don't have a biro, take a biro, fill it, and return it back to the ushers. If today is your first time coming this year, don't say I have been coming since uh, they started leaving Springo. That one is told you. It is those, <laughs> if this is your first time of coming this year, because all the other records, we have put them aside. Now, we want to take testimonies here live. And please, just tell us your name and give the testimony of what God has done. And let us celebrate every testimony. It is not the testifier we are celebrating, but the God behind the miracle. The God behind the miracle. Your name, man, and what God has done. Good. For everybody, lift up yourself. When I hear Allah, here in my head rises. You look, you can't go far without money. There is no serious program anybody can carry out without money. And the money you need is not you, it's not your strength that will bring it. I prophesy a lot upon Allah. 
Did you hear that testimony? He said this year. Ah, this year. And we are still in January. I prophesy. A lot upon a lot. Before you go to bed today, a lot upon a lot. As you are, even while you are still in this service, a lot will be coming. On your way back, a lot will be coming. In Jesus' name. Mommy, your name and what God has done. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Sunny Root. I want to testify to the goodness of God. This is my third week of coming to Goshen Good. Line. Good. Last week when we came for a prayer, after then we went to the office. We closed in the evening. I'm the one that used my hand to lock our bedroom room. So returning home, I wanted to open the door. The door did not open. I tried, I could, it could not open. And I went outside to call my husband that I'm trying to open the door, the door is not open. He asked me, how do I turn in? I said, I don't know. I called the student, did you use any other key to force it to open to our bedroom? They said, no, mommy, it's not today that we start locking the door. So my husband now came in, he tried, he could. He now used this uh, anointing handkerchief. And mantle and put it at the hand of the door. We left, went to the parlor and sit down. We break our fast and pray in the parlor there. We ate. So around that 9.30, he came in again. He was trying to, to open it. I came to meet him and I told him, okay, can we use cost, cutlass? How we can force the door to open? He said, I should leave him. He didn't answer me. I went back to the parlor. Not quite two minutes, I went back to the parlor. The door opened. Ooh. The door opened. So this is God. Then secondly, again, I want to testify to the goodness of God. Last week again, I'm not first timer, but I have a sick person to my family. So he's a family friend. I collected this mantle from here, and I went to the house on Sunday to give them. Yesterday, she called me that God has did it. I said, what God did it? He said he went back to another person that came from U.S. on Monday and referred him to a doctor, another gynecology doctor, when he packed all the tests that he has done in general hospital mm. they checked that result they told her that she was not cancelia that is another maybe like diabetes that is worrying him that the doctor wanted to kill him he called the doctor again that why did you be treating this woman that doesn't have cancer and you are treating her so hey. glory be to god there is god in there goshen god life in praise this place. did you hear that testimony the door that refused to open when the door saw mantle, he said, We hand the mantle at him. <laughs> the way you people are using mantle, the thing beat me. Oh. The angel came and unlocked the door. I speak to your life today. Angels will unlock the door for you. You know, I told you here yeah, if you belong to this anointing, there is what to do when you don't know what to do. There is what to do where you don't know what to do. They don't know what to do with the door, so they put them on two. <laughs> there is what to do where you don't know what to do. Take oil and spray. Ah, ah. Something must answer to something. You don't know what to do. Look for two Bible verses and quote it to it. That mountain will move. There is what to do. Help me announce that to your neighbor. Where you don't know what to do. There is what to do. Where you don't know what to do. It's not crying. Oh, my head, the, the door doesn't listen to that one. But for man too, anointed. <laughs> Nothing will stand the anointing on you this year. Amen. Your name, ma, and what God has done. My name is Evelyn Agbaje. I have come to return all the glory to God. God saw me through last year. Through my traveling to and fro, every time I'm on the way, I'm mm. always praying that God, please protect me. Yes. Whatever it is that is happening out there should not be my lot. And mm. God did it for me. Mm. I went, I came back to mm. the praise and glory of God's name. Another one, about this time, 20 years ago, God gave me a bundle of joy. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turned 20. 20. Wow. All you mothers and fathers here, the rising of your children will give you joy. Amen. The progress of your children will give you joy. Amen. When I am praying like that, you better be saying a good amen. amen. 
I am praying under a serious anointing. I am praying under a serious inspiration. Your children will be doing well. They will give you joy. Mommy, your name and what God has done. My name is Sister Antonia. I want to return all glory to God for what God did in my family this year, 2023. Hmm. On 3rd of uh, January this year, my son-in-law that, and I came back. So they traveled home to the village for Christmas to do the Christmas with the mother. So on 3rd, he drove out with his jeep along the Owere airport road. That was in the night. And I don't know whether he was on speed or what. So he jammed the parked vehicle. And that very jeep turned three good times. The jeep turned three times and in fact that car was right off. But the man came out on hot. Mm. Honestly. This oh, man no. came out. Nothing happened to him. And this very jeep, in fact I don't know how they are going to repair it. Mm. Because when you look at it, you're asking yourself, did somebody come out of this car? I want to return the glory to God because my daughter's marriage is very, very tender. Mm. God of Daddy Femi Emmanuel did not allow my daughter to become a widow mm. at this tender age. Hey, hey. So I say, God, I give you all the glory and honor. That is it. Praise the Lord. Every situation this year, you will come out on hot. You will come out without injury. I prophesy to everybody's life. I declare this is a year of no injury. You travel up and down, you fly, you go on the road, you go to your job, you come back every day. It's a year of no injury. Your name, my daughter, and what God has done. My name is Agusion Ezini, and I want to thank God for my life. Like, on the 13th, last week, Friday, I was coming back from the east, and the private car that we entered crashed. Like, the motor was somersaulting on the road, but all of us came out Some alive. Yeah. Jesus On the road, in, inside Edo State. I want to thank God for my life, and my uncle, we all came out alive on crash. And people that were there were asking that, you people came out alive, your God is really alive. But before I embarked on that journey, my mind just told me to take my... Um, what is the name? The anointing oil. That is the overcomers oil. And mm -hmm. I should anoint myself. So mm -hmm. I carried the overcomers oil and I anointed myself. And I prayed and I was like, God, let nothing happen to us on this journey. Mm -hmm. But the devil tried to take my life. And I'm going to add another year this January. But I was like, I'm going to see my birthday this year. I'm not mm -hmm. going to die. Mm -hmm. So, and I came out of that journey and I was just looking at everywhere. And I was like, God, I came out of this mm -hmm. accident alive. I want to give you all the glory and all the thanks. Hallelujah. So you mean you came out of a some assorted vehicle? And you are looking so beautiful. Nothing. Every one of you, no matter what is somersaulting this year, economy somersault. No, you will come out on hold. Your name man, and what God has done. My name is Singo Zuka. And God has been so faithful. Ever since I joined this platform after COVID, God has been doing wonders in my life and family. Mm. He has been so good. The first testimony I gave you was when I was on four days coma. Mm. It was this man that woke me up. After four, four days, days coma. Yes, it was this hey, man hey. that woke me up. I did not know when they brought, took me to the hospital. So I gave the testimony here. The second time was accident. As I was coming here, God saw me through on the way. Many people injured and said, but I came here. Wow. So this third one, I don't know, there are so many testimonies, but this very one yes. is a very big testimony. Yeah. My son is a Nollywood actor. Many people will know him here. Oh. It, the, this story is on air now. He had an accident on Todd Melan Bridge on wow. Sunday. Wow. Yes. I cover him always. His picture with Mantle. Wow. I did not remove Mantle one day from his picture. Hmm. So God, that very day on Sunday, on Monday, he called me. He was sounding one. What is wrong with you? He said he's in the hospital. They had an accident to, on Third Milan Bridge. What happened? He said he did not go with his car, that uh, they went somewhere, but he asked his boys to go with his own car. Then he followed his friends. I said, Why will you follow your friends to, with another car? Do you know the angel that is guiding you? Mm. Do you know the efforts I'm making here, especially every yeah. Thursday? Yeah. Mm. Five o'clock, I will leave my house mm. to this place from Ikotoebe to this place. Oh. Don't, be, don't be following other people. Follow your car, you have angels following yes. you. Don't ever try it again. You say, okay, mommy, I've heard you. Well, how is it now? He said, he, got, he just injures a uh, part of it. They stitch it. But uh, you are the one talking. 
God of Pastor Fami Manoa, thank you. I will forever remain grateful to you. Hallelujah. You have been so good to Hallelujah. me. I can never thank him Hallelujah. enough. Hallelujah. He's so good. Praise, Praise the Lord. None of you will suffer any loss this year. Four days in coma. The man to walk out. Anointing walk out. Whatever is in coma in anybody's life. It's not only human beings that are in coma. Business can be in coma. Marriage can be in coma. Whatever is in coma, I command you to wake up. You won't lose your son. You won't lose your daughter. You won't lose your spouse. You won't lose your parent. You won't lose your life. This is not a year of losses. It's a year to gain more. Please, please, don't miss prayer mountain once. This is number three today. Isn't it? Isn't it? Remaining 49. Do your hand to your neighbor like this, 49. Don't miss any. It so doesn't hear on time. Say again, 49. Don't miss any. Praise God. Now it is time to give man to those that are just coming. If today you are, it's your first coming and we have not given you anointed. Did you hear what man two is doing? The man to the door that refused to open. Who are thou, O door? <laughs> who are thou? Who, who, who touched the key? Who made the key unopenly again? Not before the man to. Did you see somebody in coma? Now, today is your first day. Rise up, go to the ministers that are carrying the tray for man to. They will give you one. Go back to your seat. They will give you one. Take it. Go back to your seat. All those of you watching me online, you say, how can I get my mantle? Take your hand towel or your white handkerchief. Everybody raise up your anointing oil. I want to bless the anointing oil for you. And all of you watching online, you will pour a little of this anointing oil on that hand towel, on that handkerchief. That becomes your anointed mantle. I pronounce this oil blessed. This oil consecrated Amen. is no longer ordinary chemistry, it becomes a mystery. Amen. You anoint yourself, heaven will be announcing you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Please pour a little quantity on that hand towel. Ah, ah. So, those of you that want man to look, what do I pour that oil on that mantle where your mantle is dirty? You wash it. You bring it back, it's anointed for you. After the mantle want to anoint your tongue, oil is coming, you just dip your two fingers. How many fingers? Show me your victory sign. Two fingers into this oil bowl, anoint your tongue, anoint your head, center of your head, then your forehead. Anoint all the documents you brought. Anoint your mantle again. Anoint all the papers, all the, photo, uh, the photographs you brought, anoint it. If you have pain in any part of your body and hand can touch the place, anoint it. Anoint your eyes, anoint your hand, anoint your tongue. Also salt your tongue. Also salt your tongue. Do so here. Do so in Dominion City. Alright, I have not seen Dominion City today. Or they are not there. I've seen it. I haven't seen it. Anoint yourself. Anoint your tongue. Anoint all the documents you have brought. Let the oil touch. Then salt your tongue. If you, your neighbor does not have a pinch of okay, I've seen the video city now. If your neighbor does not have a pinch of salt, please, don't swallow salt. Don't drink salt. Don't eat salt. Just a taste of it at the tip of your tongue. Just have a taste. We are praying with anointed tongue and a salted tongue. We are going to be prophesying our year of fruitfulness. We are going to be turning the keys. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. We are getting closer to prayer time. You have heard the word. You have listened to other people's testimony. We are getting close. We are getting close. We are getting close. 
We are getting close. We are getting close. We are getting close. Now, those of you that came for the first time today, we have not given you anointed currency before. The new currency is not yet out in good numbers. When it is out, I will add it to the one you have before. Those of you that have not taken any currency before, rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. You have not taken currency before. They will give you one. And you will sit down. And you will go and join other currency to it. Don't spend it all. It's a symbolic prophetic money. Don't spend it all. It's a symbolic prophetic money. And when we have the new colored currency in good numbers, I will give you. But please go and stick, take a stapler or a gum. If you don't have stapler, if you don't have gum, use a, use a bar. Ah, I know some of you. Uh, I know some of you. You will use fufu to gum it. Ah, come and see. Do it like this. You see how I, you see how I, I salute my own? You see how I use stapler on my own? So that you don't mistakenly spend it. Don't mistakenly spend it. You don't mistakenly spend it. You will be joining all the other currency. Thank you for not taking it away. You will be joining other currency. It is a symbolic money. Money has wings. It is not human power alone that brings money. It is human effort plus God's mysterious grace. That is what is coming on you. That is what will come on you. In Jesus name. Are you done? It is time for prayer. Put your man chew on your head. If you find that comfortable to do. Like this. Or hang it on your body. If that is what you want to do. Like this. Or throw it across your shoulder. If that is what you want to do. We give you options. But make sure your tongue is salted. Your tongue is anointed. The mantle on you. The key you have brought. And the new things you have brought. Hold them in your hand. It is time for prayer. Jump up on your feet like a soldier. We want to pray. We want to prophesy. Our year of fruitfulness. A fruitful year like no other year. People are already giving testimony. And today is just the 19th, isn't it? People are already saying what God has done for me this year. What will happen by the time we get approached to March and April and May? It will be overwhelming. Raise the key and the thing in your hand and say, Oh Lord my God. Let all my desired doors open wider from today. All the desired doors for my children. In my business and in my career. In my ministry, in my network, in my platform. All my desired doors. Start opening now. Start opening now. Open wider. Open better. Call your desired doors to open. All my desired doors. Start opening wider, better, stronger. All the good doors I desire. Begin to open now. This is the year when your desired door shall be opening. No good door shall be shut against me.
Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6, that we refer to. He said, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Those who pray to him. Those who come to prayer mountain. Those who wait on him. Those who rejoice before him. Those who live their life. I can go on and on. Raise your key and say, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. This is my year of reward. Reward me with what money can buy and with what money cannot buy. Reward my family. Reward my children. Reward all my labors. Open your mouth. He said, In all labors, there is profit. My year of reward. My year of reward. My year of reward. Oh Lord. Reward me this year. My year of profitable reward. He will reward you. He will give you reward. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. Hey. Aha. A fruitful year for everyone. Yes, 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 yes. Amazingly fruitful, strangely fruitful this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Point the key up and say, Oh Lord, my God, oh Lord my God, wherever my blessings are, my blessings connect, are. connect them to me this year. Me this year. Wherever my children's blessings are, my, blessings are. my daughter's husband, my son's wife, my mega business, wherever they are, I open the door. I open the door. Be turning the key and be opening the door. Be turning the key prophetically. I open the door. International door. Global door. Wherever my blessings are. Mega businesses. I open the door. I open the door. Be turning the key. Be turning the key prophetically. Be turning the key. Open the door for progress. For advancement. Overseas door. Foreign operation door. Global door. I open the door. I open the door. The door will be opening for you. The doors will be opening for you. I open the door. <laughs> the door is opening in Dominion City. Oh. The door is opening in Abel Kuta. Oh. The door is opening in Oshobo. The door is opening in Akure. The door is opening in Lagos. The door is opening all over the world. Wherever they are joining this anointing. Ah. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23. That's our next scripture to pray. Don't forget what we have learned on this mountain. In all your prayers. Always look for Bible verse to back it up. He said, I watch over my word. I watch over my word. Can you see the first part of that scripture? In all labor, there is profit. Raise the key. And say, oh Lord my God. Oh Lord, my God. Let me enjoy profit. Me enjoy Massive profit. profit. In all my effort. Oh, in all my business effort. Oh, in all my career effort. Massive profit. For me and my children. Open your mouth and ask for massive profits. God can give you a business that you made a profit that will liberate you. Hey, for the rest of the year, you can make a huge profit that for the rest of the year, money is no longer a problem. For the rest of the year, 
God can open the door for you for massive profits in that country where you are, in that industry where you are, a massive profit. You will not make losses this year. You will not make losses this year. No losses this year. <laughs> hey! No losses of any kind. Massive profit in all you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Our next prayer is from James chapter 1 verse 17. Our next prayer is from James 1 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift. God will make things perfect for you this year. He says from above, raise your key and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. let every good gift, every perfect gift, from the four corners of the whole world gravitate towards me locate me and my people open your mouth and ask for all every good gift and perfect gift from all over the world gravitate towards me locate me and my calling and my assignment everywhere you are on earth god is there god is where you are there god is where you are there call for every good thing every perfect thing good thing locate me this year a new baby in a home is a good thing a new car is a good thing a new house is a good thing visa to travel to the world is a good thing citizenship green card indefinite stay is a good thing a profitable job is a good thing a good space is a good thing all good things all perfect things locate me and everything i represent this year oh oh yes 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 in jesus name we pray our next prayer is from joel chapter 2 verse 24. the book of joel chapter 2 verse 24 and the floor shall be full of wheat and there shall be overflow overflow and the fat shall overflow this year is your year of overflow this is your year of more than enough raise the key and all the things in your hand and say oh lord, oh lord. i prophesy 2023 you are my year of overflow overflow of resources overflow of favor overflow of money overflow of all good things of life open your mouth and cry out for overflow overflow of job of customers of client overflow 2023 you my blessing will not be in trickles my blessing will be in overflow aha aha overflow more than enough is my year of more than enough is my year of more than enough in jesus name we pray two more prayer points now you are going to turn the key and shut all evil doors you will be mentioning them doors of untimely death doors of sicknesses and diseases doors of regret and oppression oppression i lock you up by fire i shut you up by fire open your mouth and begin to shut all the evil doors you don't want to see doors of losses continuous delay struggle 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 no end no admission no employment no visa no marriage no baby i shut those doors evil doors i shut all the evil doors evil dream nightmares Injury, accident, 
attack, armed robber, abduction, kidnapping, COVID, sicknesses and diseases. I shut the door by fire. I shut the door by fire. I shut the door by fire. Shut it up by fire. Doors of failure. Doors of evil reports. I shut it by fire. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Carry the new thing in your hand. 2023 is the year of new things. New help. New assistance. New ideas. New opportunities. New travels. New house. New car. New clients. New customers. All pastors. New members. New, new, new. What are the new things you desire? Call the name of Jesus three times. You will say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the, I prophesy. This year I need a new house. A new car. A new job. A new opportunity. A new baby. Open your mouth. Raise those new things. And prophesy the new things you desire. Yes. Yes. I prophesy, I call for new things, new space, new venue, new space, new money, new resources, new helper, new travel, new car, new house, new baby, new relationship, new connection. Pray for your daughter, mention her name, pray for your son, mention his name. New thing in my family, new anointing, new strength, new opening, new help. Oh, new, new. Everything new, new. Everything new, new. New visa. Everything new, new. New relationship, new customers, new big contracts, new breakthrough, new territory. New location, new job, new promotion, everything new, new. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let me hear your amen more. Amen. Let me hear your amen better. Amen. You will not have less than you have required. Listen, this is the third prayer month in this year. 49 remaining. Except you travel abroad. And many of you are going to travel abroad. Many of you will travel more than once. Many of you this year, you will travel up to four times. Let nothing deny you of showing up here for two hours. Some people are even doing the two services. Doing so. You can do one. Watch the second one online. In all the centers, Dominion City, Bekuta here. If you can, he said, Isaac sold the land. One year. I told you one year is enough. But that is one year of diligence. One year of consistency. One year of obeying what the pastor, the man of God over you is saying. Say, so believe the Lord your God, you'll be established. Believe his prophet, you will prosper. So, next prayer mountain is anointing to move forward. Somebody say, I will move forward. I will move forward. The children of Israel move forward, the rest he move backward. I will continue to move forward already. Next week, we are going to be marching like soldiers. You will see the world crumbling. You will see the rest it dry up. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So next week, come with shoe that you can move forward. Not the one that will be telling of when you are moving forward. Come with something that you will be smart. And come with your key. Next week will be the last time we will put covering cloth. That will be number four. 
I will move to something else in February. Stretch your hands here and everything. And please, next we don't come alone. Let somebody thank God for you introducing them to this prayer mountain. Dominion City. Don't come to Dominion City alone next week. Let somebody thank God and thank you for introducing them. Father, in the name of everybody, raise your key. Raise your hand. Raise those things in your hand. Raise the water. Raise everything you have brought. I prophesy a year of your amazing fruitfulness. A year like no other year. A year of great harvest. A year of great reward. A year of compensation. A year of new things. According to your desire, receive it. According to your desire, receive it. A year of being a millionaire. If you are a millionaire already, multi-millionaire. A year of no financial problem. A year of no sickness. You will never have a down moment. You will never have a down moment. All throughout this year, you will be excited. You will be happy. Happy to serve God. Happy to touch life. Happy to lead. Everything around you shall be well. All your children, your grandchildren, your businesses, your outfit, your ministry, your concern, everything that has your name on it, they shall make massive progress. When we shall be doing prayer mountain number three, 2024, you will be alive and well. The grace to be consistent, receive it in Jesus' name. Before you get back home today, there is a beautiful news waiting for you. As soon as you leave here, a miracle phone call will come. A lot upon a lot. Good news upon good news. You will have a beautiful testimony to bring here next week. In Jesus' name. Say amen three times. Give the Lord a wave offering. Have your seat and let's close. All those of you online media, put the payment portals online. These are warfare battles. So battle seed. Transmit your tithe if you are a tither to God through this commission. Your battle seed, your thanksgiving seed, your partnership commitment seed, and the 1111 seed. We are sowing this month. Many people are doing it and testimonies are coming. Do yours also. Do yours also. The second service is going to start by 9.30. We just have a 30 minutes break for those leaving to leave and for those coming to come. You won't have time to do another two hours. Please, you are allowed to stay and do it. That will be double blessing. Remember that you are to come here with some new people that you will invite next week. Don't forget to take everything you brought back home. We do counseling for people at the end of the second service. The Lord bless you. Bring out your good offering here. And those of you who want to do your tithing, your battle seed, your thanksgiving seed, I thank God for the sowing grace upon this commission. All of you, you, you are sowing, you are giving. Keep doing it. The Lord that reward people openly will reward you openly. Amen. Keep doing it. Very soon, anything that takes money to do, you will do it smiling. Amen. They say, ah, this thing in the family, oh, this thing in the family is going to cost a lot of money. You will say, how much? Eh, the thing is, I say, how much? Eh, rice has become a bag of rice. I say, how much? Ah, they said, I don't want story. Just tell me reality. They said the thing will cost about a hundred million. Say, bring my check. Bring my. Who am I describing? So shall it be. Rise up with your offering. And those of you giving your tithe, open the door for them from the overflow to come inside. I prophesy to the seed. He said he will give seed to the sower. God will always be giving you. Your business will be growing. 
We have opened the door today. No more dryness. This seed you are dropping will bring great harvest. And all of you lining up for your tight, it will not be tight for you. Battle seed, God will take the battle off your hand. Partnership seed, God will partner with you. You are blessed. Please let your envelope be raised up until the usher gets to you and you drop it. Until the usher gets to you and you don't forget the things you brought. You are going to be bringing them. Next week you still bring the key. You still bring your cover cloth for the last time and bring other people and bring yourself. Let your offerings envelope be up. I'm waiting for the ushers. Okay, turning point booklet. Jan, is that January edition? Oh, February is out. Remind me in the second service. Please take turning point booklet. It will bless you. Let your offering envelope be raised up until the ushers get to where you are. Ushers, move fast. Move fast. Pass the bucket. Pass the bucket. I want everything to be done decently and in order. Offering is different from tithes. It's different from battle sea. different from thanksgiving. Now everybody receive this prayer to go. The presence of God is going with you. The glory of God is going with you. Your story has changed. Your fears will not happen. You have nothing to fear. You are the fear that fear we fear. Those who look down on you before we look up to you. Those things that are working for you will work better. Those things that were not working before we start working. Go and bring new testimony. Go and come and tell us new story. You are blessed forever. All those of you online, as I touch you with this mantle, God will put things online for you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Ghost, rest on you as you go. In Jesus' name. Say amen and let a hundred people hear.